So is uh, it too late to be making a video now? Uh, I've got the old sunken metal. It's kind of nice when uh, you spend so much time alone, you kind of appreciate the things right in front of you. And I've always been a fan of that. I think destroying my smartphone has been one of the best things I've ever done. It's more like, well, I feel like a lot of people are really stuck into this technology world and they're really not enjoying or not learning how to live in the moment like we used to. And I just remember when I was a kid, didn't have internet, didn't have phones, didn't have any of this. And I'd be bored in sense with a lot of things, but when I, I learned a lot how to uh, budget my time and a lot of it was just coming out here and just kind of staring out into space by myself and watching the sunset and you know things in the good old days and not have my phone out here to take a picture of it and be like oh this is nice let's take a picture it's like you're stocking up memories to look later when you don't understand or you don't actually live the moment that you are experiencing right now because you're being distracted by instagram facebook and it's a lot you lose a lot of productivity and I noticed over the past few years, uh, when it comes to productivity, my artwork hasn't been so great. My piano playing hasn't been so great because, you know, I'm a musician and it's deterred me from a lot of things. Uh, it's just, and I feel like oh, so many people are missing out on what it's like to be human. Because, folks, yeah, this is not, what we have these days is not being human just materialism it's wanting more and more crap more and more things more and more pointless things and you don't and we don't appreciate what the world just is by itself because I mean who needs this many many upon many uh, people are there 90% of the world living in poverty don't have much don't have these things don't have clean water, clean food, whatever. And then we come here and we just want things. Well, what do we really want? Are we buying things to make ourselves more happy? Are we fulfilling something or are we, fulfill, are we uh, just filling a hole in our heart that can't be filled with stuff, right? I think relationships are a very beautiful thing. I think meeting people is, is you know, one of those beautiful things in life about talking to people, but nobody wants to socialize anymore. That you only socialize on social media. So you're, everyone's face down in their phone on social media, and the only way to socialize people is generally with that, for the most part, from what I've noticed. So now that I'm just really not on my phone all the time or on Facebook, what am I doing? Well, there's just it doesn't seem too many people to talk to. So it's just me, so you're just gonna be by yourself. And that's cool, because that actually kind of makes me happy. It's a way of thinking. If you could think outside the box, it makes you a free thinker. I think that makes you maybe a more of an intelligent being. I mean, I don't wanna just kind of throw that out there like that in that manner to say that, oh, I'm more intelligent, because well, I, I really am not. I mean, I don't have a great vocabulary. I don't. <laughs> not a smart kid didn't do as great in school but like i'm just saying is like i'm the person who likes to think outside and look over and say okay i had a an addiction with my phone like it was a drug addiction and i feel like getting rid of that helps improve myself my own well-being my productivity i go back to high school or college sorry and Running was everything. Even right now, running is everything for me. I mean, heck, I remember those times I'd get up at 2 a.m. in the morning feeling like a champ and then being like, well, I'm, it's already 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm already up. Well, why don't I just grab in another six miles? And I'd do that. And it was crazy. But it was just like, it was just this thing about, you know, wanting to always be outside and not being stuck 
on a computer or stuck inside or stuck in the social media bubble. It was just, I always wanted to be outside. Yeah, it's 2 freaking a.m. in the morning, but what the heck am I gonna do? I'm going running, screw that, screw what everyone says. I got up to running 180 miles a week in college, got through all my schoolwork, and it was great. So for the first couple of years I had a smartphone with the last few years in college. And you know, that was a big thing is to have this, this smartphone, this technology, in my face when I should be studying and doing uh, all these other things and you know I I held it off a lot like I was not addicted to my phone in college as I was to after college where all of a sudden I have a lot more free time and have nothing better to do other than run and then sit at home and be on Facebook or Instagram and I was like this is not making me happier this is not you know fulfilling my life's dreams and well, what is my life dream it's to be productive it's not just to become an athlete not just to become you know an artist or anything like that or to earn a lot of money that's not my life dream um, my life dream is just to become productive and improve on myself improve in my music improve in my artwork and of course my number one would be improve on my running you know I may not make the Olympics one day I may not uh, be a star runner or whatever, but you know what I want? I want to improve because that makes me feel good. And I just feel like this last past year, my running hasn't been great. My music playing hasn't been great. And all these little talents that make me me hasn't been great. And I think it's because I've been focusing uh, too much on social media and focusing on what other people are doing other than what I have to do just for myself and for a lot of people that's what they got to do is focus on yourself and then the end of the day you know you, nothing else matters the, because I always say did I wake up the next day or uh, at the end of the day what did I improve on and if I could ask myself a question I did this better I did that and for the past couple months I, I couldn't do that I couldn't at the end of the day I would get home and I'd be like just the same shit every day I don't I'm like what's going on man I don't think I've done what I wanted to do this year at all period you know I got I got hurt from running I got stepped on all of those th all these things happen and it's just been rough and you know now it's time to take that step that step you know to take that step back first of all you assess the damages and then you take that step forward you always take a step back to take a step forward and now I recessed every little thing you know the high mileage my running always been doing it right we let's take a step back now you know we'll, we'll run moderate mileage and see where that gets us for this track season right right so I've done the 180 109 miles a week it works great um, cutting back the mileage makes me feel a little bit fresher I feel better okay I'm talking about running again obviously uh, but I, I know it's trying new things that relate to old things, you know, that aren't too different from the old things that you've been doing, do help you uh, take that step forward to that new goal, changing things up a bit. I think when you do the same thing over, over all the time, the same mileage, the same run, the same job, the same thing, you start you plateau in anything and you become counterproductive and so this year might have been a counterproductive year uh, for the past year and it happens but what do you do you take a step back assess the damages and then at the end of the day you ask yourself what did I improve on today and you come and you wake in the wake, you wake up the next day and you look forward to the next day it just hasn't been like that for me. We're looking forward to the next day, I'm like, I want to, but I'm like, well, is it going to be the same thing over? Or am I going to make these little changes, take that step back, to make that step forward to improve on the next thing? And that's why, okay, this is a long, long video, but that's why I want to say, say out to everybody on my channel over here. Uh, you never stop running. You never give up, because I ain't giving up. Because shit, if I, if I give, I'd probably be even more unhappy. The, the drive of knowing that I'm going to fail at some, po some points in my life 
is what actually kind of fuels me to go harder, faster, stronger, and it feels good. So this is for everyone who needs to be inspired. It's getting dark. I don't give a crap. That's just the way it is, and I'm going to stay here for a while, I think, and enjoy everything that there is about this world and everything about myself because, you know, every step I take is another step to learn to love myself more about all the crazy shit I do, and that's cool. So maybe, maybe it's time for another 2 a.m. run, or maybe it's time just to go to sleep. <laughs> I can kind of see the stars now. It's nice over here. So, peace out guys. Bada bing, bada boom. Al Coyote Loco.